Are you possibly missing out on clothing allowance with the VA? Did you even know that the VA offered this benefit? Well, continue watching to find out on what you may be missing out on. Hey guys, it's Stephanie with VA Claims Veterans Helping Veterans. So let's talk about clothing allowance with the VA. I do have a lot of experience with this because I've been filing for it for many years. So I feel like I can provide some good information on how to file for VA clothing allowance. Now I'm gonna talk about what it takes to file for VA clothing allowance, the form you need to fill out, whether you have a device or a cream for the service connected disability and the amount of clothing allowance that they give out. And keep in mind, you must file by August 1st of every year. I like to file early and I've already filed fine. So let's dive into this and take a look at this. All right, guys. So this link is the starting point for the entire process. So we've got eligibility, entitlement, your annual benefit amount, the application, and then filing the application. So eligibility. Veterans who are rated for a service-connected disability for which he or she uses prosthetic or orthopedic appliances may receive an annual clothing allowance. The allowance is also available to veterans whose service-connected skin conditions requires prescribed skin medication that irreparably damages the veteran's outer garment. Now let's discuss entitlement. So the first one we're going to click on is this hyperlink here for the prosthetic devices. If you click on it, it will take you to this flowchart. If you do not have a service-connected disability, then it's a big fat new and you are not eligible for clothing allowance. However, if you continue down the flow chart and you continue to answer yes, and you become eligible for clothing allowance at the end of the questions, you are eligible for clothing allowance for a prosthetic device. Now, let's talk about skin medications. If you click this link, it will take you here. Pretty simple, guys. If it's in red, it's a yes. If it's in black, it's a big fat no again. You're not eligible. So that's pretty simple for the skin medications. The annual benefit amount. If you click on this link here, it will take you to the updated benefit amount. And as you can see, Right here, it's $968.52 per clothing allowance. Now, let's talk about the application. If you click this link here, it will take you to the application. And you will go ahead and you will fill in your personal information here. And that's pretty simple, right? Once you get to this part, let's talk about that. This is where you're going to fill in either the device or the crane. So here, you're going to fill in the actual appliance. You're going to state the service-connected disability it's for, the month and year you received the appliance, the VA center, and for which limb. The second line here is giving you an example of a crane. Again, pretty self-explanatory. What it's for, when it was issued, and as you notice here, it says, if not a VA facility, include the facility's phone number. So right there, you see the phone number. That's so the VA can verify that you actually have this prescribed skin medication. All right. And then if we go back, we're going to talk about how to apply for this benefit. You have five options, guys. The first option is you can take it to the prosthetics department at the VA hospital and hand deliver it. I like this option and I do this option because I get it hand stamped and I save it for my records. Now, not everybody can get there and that's fine. You can actually mail it to the prosthetics department at the VA hospital, option two. Option three, you can fax it. Option four, you can submit it on My Healthy Vets. Option five, you can actually mail the application to the claims intake center. So those are your five options for submitting your application for clothing allowance. All right, guys, so let's recap. Number one, eligibility, making sure you're eligible for that clothing allowance. Number two, filling out that clothing allowance application. Number three, 
picking one of those five options to submit your clothing allowance application. And the most important part, you must file by August 1st, 2023. That's the deadline with the VA. All right, guys, I hope this video was informative. I will drop all the links that I discussed.